saints versus sinners, the poor versus riches. Top ramen plate. This five star dentist, wonder why I fit it. The humblest beginnings, had to take some losses for I saw my first winnings. Silver line grinning, poverty line thinning. My life is like a moving in the plot, just thickened. Came from broken homes, trying to break the old traditions. Left my old ways for my future acquisitions. I know, no such thing as playing both sides. I know, life is better in the dope ride. I know, the water better in the low tide. Music better amplified, staying down for upsides. I know. No such thing as playing both sides, I know The life is better in the dope ride, I know The water better in the low tide Music better amplified, staying down for upsides, I know Hi, my name is Emily and I'm a first year medical student I wanted to make this vlog because I feel like the days are going by A lot of stuff that I would just love to share Like when I was in middle school and high school I always wanted to kind of like see vlogs and see what medical school is like so I wanted to create this for people who might be curious or just looking for some study inspo. I have exams like every two to four weeks so I'm doing a lot of studying most days but I'm also trying to find a good work-life balance. So I have an exam in a couple days. I don't even know what day it is but I'm gonna be studying for that. I'm also learning how to program. I'm doing some research on the side and I love to dance. I'm trying to balance it all, make it work, stay motivated. I'm not perfect, so I, not everything goes according to plan all the time, but I wanted to take you guys along for the ride. Let's go. Here I am studying at my favorite place around campus. It's a student lounge with floor to ceiling windows, so lots of natural lighting and big open spaces. My thought is that if I'm studying all the time, then I might as well try to make it enjoyable. The sunlight and sounds of people chattering around me really help brighten my mood. This is honestly a more typical day for me. I wake up and try to squeeze as much studying in as I can and then fit in other things around it that make me happy, like working out, hanging out with friends, and dancing. I'm so lucky to have met my boyfriend in medical school. He's my biggest support and you'll see him in a lot of clips because we study together all the time and basically do everything together. First semester was definitely an adjustment period for me, so I focused mainly on class. This semester, I wanted to find more balance outside of school, like learning new skills, starting research, and being more mindful. It's a never-ending balancing act, and some days I succeed more than others. For Valentine's Day, we had a chill night in, watched Goodwill Hunting, and he cooked me scallops. They were so, so good. The Mason Jar Wine Idea. So I'm on my way to my first class. I'm running a bit late. We have like a simulated emergency room session today where we work in a team and like take on different roles. We're in the renal unit, so I think we're gonna do something renal, but I'm not exactly sure what it's gonna be. But yeah, these are always really exciting. I'm kind of nervous because it's like actually applying the skills in real life. We have a sim man. The case was awesome. I really enjoyed the case. It implemented, it like integrated a lot of the things that we've been learning in class. Um, microanatomy, gross anatomy, and the physiology. It was a really, really comprehensive case. I enjoyed it a lot. I'm trying to adopt this new mindset where it's just like, I'm learning in class. It's okay to be wrong, so just throw out answers. Like, I'd rather do that than feel nervous about sounding stupid or like not contributing. So now I'm gonna do some studying.
my friend's birthday thing that I could come home and then like study some more, you know, really get in the grind and whip it out. But today has been too tiring. My boyfriend tells me that just like there's surge pricing for Ubers, there are certain times when you can study better. And when you're in that mode, then you should keep pushing then. But if you're not feeling it, then maybe not. So today, I'm gonna call it a night. To give some context, my school does a flipped classroom curriculum and there are often days when we don't have in-person classes. First year of medical school seems to be like the time to take advantage of the flexibility and travel while we can. Also, I've always wanted to take from this New York-based choreographer, so our day off seemed like the perfect opportunity to go. The goal was to romanticize studying by going to New York. We had a grind set itinerary of coffee, study, lunch, more studying, then end the day with a dance class. Unfortunately, I've become addicted to caffeine since school started. I literally can't go through my day without it. The Ace Hotel was amazing with free Wi-Fi, plenty of outlets, and a cozy interior. I was feeling so good and so focused. Caffeine was buzzing through me and the energy of New York put me in the working mood. We got a lot of work done there, but... We did not get back to work after our lunch break at Xi'an Famous Foods. Instead, we went shopping and took a walk along the High Line. We eventually did make it back to the Rose Reading Room, but honestly did like 10 minutes of work. Beautiful though, would definitely recommend to check it out. Now, past me would have absolutely freaked out from not following my schedule to a T, but I've learned that right now, despite the stress of constant exams, there is still time for life. There's time for adventure, there's time for happiness, Honestly, I hope I hold on to this mentality for the rest of my life. For example, spending quality time with my boyfriend, taking my first dance class since starting school, six whole months. It used to be a huge part of my life before studying took priority. It's so hard, but I'm trying my absolute best to stay in the present and enjoy life moment by moment, even if that means not following my study plan to a T. We have made it to the train station. We are currently in Moynihan train station. It's so beautiful. Um, are you talking about me? <laughs> yes! How did you know? Or is it yourself? Okay. My beautiful girlfriend. <laughs> okay, well we had an amazing day here in New York. So I didn't get to like talk more during the day. It was so busy, just go, go, go. But somehow, we only did two and a half hours of studying. But we got 25,000 steps. That's pretty awesome. And I took a dance class for the first time ever in New York. First time ever in your life. In my, uh, yes. <laughs> Which was pretty dope. But yeah, we almost got lost. Not really. Yeah, I don't our, remember that. Okay, our phones were at like 2% and we somehow made it here. So thank God we are alive. We are very tired, so we will get on the train and sleep very well tonight. Tonight. <laughs> so excited. Okay, see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Good morning. It is a new day. Yesterday in New York was so much fun. Like, literally one of the best days of my life. Ultimately, I'm really glad we went. I had an, an amazing time and I'm more ready to focus today. I have, we have an exam on Tuesday, so three days from now, today is Saturday, we have today, Sunday, and Monday to like really grind it out, so nothing is on the schedule except for studying, and hopefully we are like really focused today, we're gonna try Paris Spaghetti because I know they have a lot of outlets, I really like the space, so yeah, today is gonna be a really, really productive day, I'm very excited. Coming back from New York, I felt energized and ready to study. 
The sun was bright and I was excited to do some cafe studying. We met a first year dental student at Paris Baguette. He talked to us about how the year was going for him. It's always so interesting to learn about other healthcare professions because I feel like many of us don't actually know the training that goes into each one. The vibes were right, but somehow my studying cap eluded me and it was really frustrating. It took a while to actually get into the zone of studying. That's why I allowed myself the whole day to get there. We've come back from the Paris baguette. Unfortunately, there were no seats with outlets, so our stuff died and we, have to, we had to come back home. We dived right into an MDR or multidisciplinary review and put it on 1.5 speed. I love these reviews because it really starts to put together all the concepts. For example, there is a question about polycystic kidney disease and where in the nephron the cysts might form. It really forced me to think a step deeper than I was previously about how embryology impacts function. Tip for future me, but finding connections between different topics can really help you find more interest in the material. Man, sometimes you're just not in the mood for studying and that is me right now. So I'm gonna make some coffee. Hopefully it'll be better afterwards. I've relocated to the couch. I thought it would be more comfortable than the chair. I'm excited to like learn more and just keep getting involved in the material. Good morning. Today is a beautiful day for some studying. Skies are blue, I'm feeling good, eating my oatmeal. We only have two more days, today and tomorrow. So today will be another long studying day. We're gonna try to go to campus. Today we're gonna fo focus on Palm. this room we're starting by making a checklist because we don't actually know what to do <laughs> so hopefully this will give us some clarity we're gonna watch this and kind of see where our deficits are here we are deep in the grind just 48 hours away from the exam it's these moments with a whiteboard marker in hand sketching out the microanatomy of the lungs with the real challenge of med school lies but there's something almost magical in the complexity of it all. Salad bowl. Mm. Oh, it's done. Okay, okay. No, it's done. And while I'm scribbling away here, trying to get all these details straight in my head, I keep thinking about how all this stuff we're learning is going to help real people. Like, understanding asthma or why someone with COPD struggles to breathe. It's all coming together. Honestly, the pressure of the exams is massive. It's like this constant reminder that I need to know this stuff inside and out. But then there's this bigger picture that keeps me going. It's not just about acing a test. It's about all those future moments where I'll actually be using this knowledge to help someone. We've done like five hours of focused work. We just ran into a friend, so that was really refreshing. It's always nice to see people that we know here because it kind of like keeps us excited. I don't really know. Otherwise it's too monotonous and like, I don't know. Okay, that was a really bad explanation. Yep. For instance, we talked about pulmonary fibrosis in class. And it was kind of a wake up call. Learning about how scar tissue can mess with your lungs wasn't just another lecture. It was a glimpse into the challenges that people face and how as future doctors, we can make a difference. So yeah, it's late, I'm tired, and my brain is about to burst with all this information. But there's this excitement too, a feeling that I'm on the right path. Studying might seem endless now, but every bit of effort is a step closer to helping someone breathe easier. Literally. But your brain is hypertrophy. The brain is big now. Hard. 
Babe, this is so good. So good. I am tired. But there's more to do. Michael likes to call it casual studying. So we'll do some casual studying for the rest of the night and just take it easy. Going back to campus to study. <laughs> One more day till the exam. Wow, it is beautiful. Oh, 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 okay. Sponsor her so <laughs> please, I can have infinite questions. Please, please. Here we are, just a day before the exam, and it's down to the wire. I am definitely feeling the pressure now. Michael and I have been swapping roles, teacher for student, diving deep into the mechanisms of renal function and disease. It's this back and forth, explaining concepts to each other, asking each other questions that really tests our grasp of the material. With the exam looming, we're feeling the pressure, but also recognizing the importance of what we're learning. It's definitely crunch time, so we are doing our best to keep each other grounded and focused. Still going strong. It's really interesting to study on campus because it's like a reminder to stop comparing myself to others. I always fall into this loop of like comparing my progress to theirs, my learning to theirs. And I'm realizing slowly over time, some people pick up things easier and quicker than others, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you can't get there just at a different time or using a different approach. I'm having a lot of fun learning. It feels like Every time like the stuff comes together the last two days or even on the exam. So this is like the most exciting part of the process for me. We have a tradition with our friend Tiger. We go to his apartment before every exam. We study a little bit and eat tacos. So we're probably gonna do that later. Gotta keep up tradition. Yeah. Okay, that was so confusing. Did you hear his question? As we count down the hours to test day, I'm trying to keep the vibe light and the motivation high. I'm trying to think that it's not just about cramming, it's about making the learning process as enjoyable as possible if that means drawing pretty pictures on the whiteboard or having a discussion with someone else about the material. It's been a long process, but the journey of medicine is even longer. So I'm trying to remind myself to build study habits that will last me a lifetime. What is up? Day of the exam. I'm gonna leave in like five minutes. I'm feeling anxious. Like I have like butterflies in my test. I think I have a bit of test anxiety to be honest. This time I just want to try to go into the exam, don't put too much pressure on myself, like it's not the end of the world if, you know, whatever happens, maybe have, have some fun on the exam. Um, but I just wanted to quickly look over my study guide. Say hi. This is Jess. Test exam! Woo! <laughs> Black notes you have, yeah. but no boba. No boba. And also, obligatory post exam oh. boba. It's a ritual. It is. She's been doing this since the first exam. Hey. Thank you. You can get a lot of hate comments for not getting the first round. I'll cut it out. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That's so smart. <laughs> we did it. Yeah. <laughs> that was a week before the exam. And on to the next one. I hope you guys liked her week before the exam.
and isn't she so beautiful and smart? 